And today's episode of Switch It Up, welcome. Is that a dramatic? That's dramatic, isn't it? It's a little bit you tr- dramatic. Are dramatic. We're a little dramatic right no, now. No, we're not. We are really in, <laughs> we're really in the middle of um, we're in Wyoming. We are. And if you enjoy old historic ghost towns and mining towns, this is the episode for you. Aren't you so lucky you found this episode? Aren't they lucky? They're so lucky. They're so lucky. <laughs> so how about we do this? We're in what city is this? South Pass? South Pass City. South Pass City, Wyoming. So we're gonna give you a little historical tour. I think we're going into a mine. Hopefully it's cooler because it's really hot out here. And then um, we'll give you a little history. (laughs) No, let's give them education, not history. Roll the intro. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. Place. Okay. And then in the back, there are some maps of the trails that are off the back of the town and off the parking lot. And where do we meet for the tour? Right out front here. Do it about 10 minutes or so two. Okay. Okay. So before our our mining tour thing we're gonna walk through the city we've got like 20 minutes and then we'll come back and play she actually, actually has real history real history I like um, this being Joe Bob's house no it's no? actually Barney's Barney okay well we're gonna go we'll roll with Barney it's Barney. Barney lived here Barney Tibbles Barney <laughs> Tibbles he was the mine manager well oh, shoot Barney yeah he was the mine manager what yeah, did mine from, managers make back in those days I'm from the 18 18- 60s in the 1880s. Well, let's check out Barney's house. It's called Sybil's Cabin. This is a fine craftsman. I think we can go back around to see the other side. Oh, wow. Check that out. Oh, it's deep. Look how far back it goes. This is actually a nice little cabin. So the back was first, and then as they, that's because it went to the mine, and then they moved it forward this way. Huh. Connected. I guess the mine manager got the big, bigger cabin. I don't know. This is the saloon? I believe that's what it says. Yeah. It was constructed in 1890. Oh, wow. Now that is awesome. The old soda pop and the... Oh, look at this. Man, there's too much glare. There's that helpful. Look at that. That looks like... This is the best preserved saloon type place I think I've ever been in. That old bar back is cool. Isn't that awesome? I have a hard time wrapping my head around how hard this life had to be. And I mean, they have like the touches, like there's like a a pipe, eggshells, they drank a shot of whiskey. Over here they were playing um, cards. Wow, it's fabulous. Well, it also served as a brothel, it says. A brothel? Yeah. So that's why there's a, I can't, we'll just do this. That's just her face. It's like a duck quack. Quack, quack, quack but you can only see this part of her. Wow, that is, that really is absolutely. So far, scoring big. Best saloon I've ever been in. Yeah. It's locked. What's this? Built in 1896. Some post like office? a general store. Oh, look, they're remodeling it. It operated as a general store and a post office. Look 
look at this picture right here. I don't know what they got paid to be miners, but the work would just be, I don't know. Six dollars. Six dollars for a day. He paid the guys, so I don't know how many guys that was, but that was what his cost was for the day. Which back then, six dollars had to be. Yeah, I don't know. But had to be great money. I, I don't know. But we don't know how many guys that was. That's his total labor cost. Oh my goodness! Day. Not just per person. No, I, it says That's it, the total cost. It says, and then it was like, what does like. Supplies needed and labor cost. He, it was like nine dollars a day is what it was costing him to run the mine. Wonder what the price of gold was in 1930. We need to find that out too. That would be an interesting conversation. I'm raiding Indians and it protected their perishable food and food and supplies. Look at that door. Wow. That's impressive. So if you're going to be hiding from some Indians, look at this. Wow. And preserving your food. And preserving your food underground. This is nuts. What's the temperature difference? It's beautifully warm. Oh, wow. Really it's like... Okay, okay, we gotta hurry, we gotta go to our tour. There's a lot here. Yeah. They've done an incredible job, actually. I just, rem I, this just feels like you'd be on like these old wagon things coming through town. And you can hear the horses and the carriages. Actually, it says that it's part of the Oregon Trail, which we know in Kansas City, the Oregon Trail goes through there. What, yeah, that's... My wristwatch is broken, my shoes are untied, time is a ticking, so is the time, but I ain't not worrying, things are what they are, come rain or come shine or a shooting star. It's just such a hard life you can look around it feels very barren dusty but yet there's water running like right here the store from little house on the prairie that nelly olson <laughs> or her parents worked in i never watched little house on the prairie really didn't watch never house once on no nope. you never watched star trek or star wars so what did you give watch me... when you got home from school well only important stuff like the Brady like Bunch? Brady Bunch. <laughs> and then we had Fonzie, Laverne and Shirley. All I'll these watch classics. The Schneider. All these wonderful classics. There's a pie right, right next to it there. There's some gray. It's nice and cool over. Scared of the sun. Oh, yep. What's in those veins? Is that what they're saying? There apparently are. Oh, no, I'm uh, but this is how they went to work 20 some years ago to survey this uh, mine underground. The trap doors, ladders, and decks going down 300 feet. Yes. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago. Pine for them old days of yore. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the tree. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. Iron compounds, uh, arsenopyrite, pyrite compounds, and gold. 
number one machine for catching gold is this one. Okay, we made it back. Second part of this wonderful city. Sheila's got the map still. Did you enjoy that tour? It was very interesting, I thought. Okay, questions I had. How much was gold back then? $35 an ounce. How much was an average worker? What did he make per day? $3 a day. They found an old thing saying a guy who swept floors and stuff made $800 for the whole year. Which you is did about, not listen very well because oh. he was actually a miner in the bottom. So he made $800 oh, a year. Oh, that's right. The daughter thought he swept floors, yes. but he actually was a miner. He yes. was a miner. Uh -huh. So about $800 for the year. Which was about eight months. And that constitute in today's money about $44,000 for the year. I what, did listen. Okay. I listened. What I did find intriguing is that seems to be getting mining gold out of quartz. It's got to be one of the most difficult. difficult noisy they had to be deaf because it was so yeah, loud and just be. dangerous yeah. jobs i was just reading in there the person that owned the family that owned the that butcher house, shop the butcher shop well it was a house be first and the brother died at the mine he just fell down the shaft 80 feet but he didn't die right away can you imagine that yeah yeah so I imagine the medical facilities were fabulous back then. Well, I'm sure we'll run into it here shortly. Yeah. Because this is all they had. The $2,000. The city jail. Remodeled the front of it into a classroom. So this was, why you'd have a classroom and then the jail back there as beyond my imagination. You can't keep me in here, I tell you. It was my gold. Where's my tin cup? Yeah. Check these out, Sheila. Look at these. You thought escape rooms were bad. Holy cow. This would be kind of a cool. Look how thick these doors were. The wild thing is right now is that we're sitting around, we're talking about Starlink in our right. RV. Right? Well, we're going to hook up to satellites so we can get communication. I and mean, I'm that... looking at a postcard in there that was mailed in the 1800s to tell somebody they got snow. Yeah. That's all that was on postcards. And we're talking about like cryptocurrency, not even gold. We're talking about made up digital things that come from a satellite that we'll be able to do on our phones. And this was, let's see, they, the last time the mine was run was like 1950. 1950-something, uh-huh. Yeah, so it's been open and closed like four times. This is just crazy to see how they've preserved it, though. I, this is probably the best ghost town we've ever, I've ever been to, as far as preservation. I've only been to a couple ghost towns with you, so me too. Yes, there you go. Let's go to the barn. We're going to the barn? Yeah, what's that? What's that? Oh, going to the barn. Come on now, you gotta get in here. Is that what it is? That's right, you gotta stir it up. If you're ever gold mining, you gotta stir it up, get in there. I've been watching that gold rush show. It's gonna be a good test pan, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. You take that and you load it in here. Come on down to the river source. This is the river source. Get some good water in there. Shake it around a little bit. Kind of shake it out, more water. Going in for that fine gold. Is that what you're doing? Yep. Now you gotta yeah, switch the yeah, now uh -huh. you gotta 
See how I'm getting this fine stuff here, yeah. the fine tailings? You sure do a really good job of pretending like you know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? This is history. We're, we are making, hit. we are a history making channel now. Uh, no. What are you talking about? Sheila, come on. See, what we're looking for, some of that pyrite. No. See if there's any of that color in there. See, I'm looking. I've been watching Gold Rush. I think there's like, I'm like, uh, I see sand. Yeah, I uh, got that. I don't think you can work on Parker's claim. <laughs> I can't work on Parker's claim. <laughs> Parker! Come on, Parker! Yeah, it looks like I got nothing. It's a bad. I guess but I'm... the water is shiny. There's flakes in it, Todd. Yeah. Look at all that. I think I did a good at getting black sand. A black sand in there? Look at that. I did. There's just nothing in the black sand. Man. I think I've got the gold rush. Oh, man. Kids said <laughs> guests in other rooms used several blankets and probably shared their beds with strangers. Who may have not bathed in many days. Oof. Final thoughts, dear. Very interesting. If you're ever in this wonderful Wyoming, look for South Pass City. And take a little drive out. It's a little ways. It's away from everything. Nothing even works here. I don't believe. Nope. Cell phones. Nothing. Yeah, you can just be out here. There's the the Wyoming's first Masonic Lodge right there. On to the next. Okay, we came in there, and there's no way I can make that turn. So now this is this, and there's a huge dip over here. I gotta move this rock out of the way. I don't want to take the chance. We're gonna have to balance. This ought to be good. Is this... Oh my gosh! Is... Yeah, this ought to be good. Are you gonna channel your inner Thor? <laughs> really? I'm 50. <laughs> This yeah. is called old man strength. Yeah, this is called Todd's going to be whining in the morning. What did I do to my shoulder? I'm doing this for somebody else's sake. Okay, but that one right That's there. That's fine. That's That one's fine. This one. We're going to have to straddle. We'll have to come this way. That's why I wanted to move that. We'll have to straddle that. Yeah, but not hit that. This is going to be... This is some tricky drive. Give me this. You gotta go, you got the walkie talkie. He straddled that rock. So easier said than done. Yeah, I understand that. Especially when you got fat wheels. Slow, you're not there yet. I'm big ass rock on your driver's side. If you can come a little bit more to the, you're, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. What's the worst that can happen? Crisis avoided, we're through. Sheila made a good point. Always have a TPMS system. 
because after doing something like that, um, BLM land or dispersed camping or boondocking, you don't know what you're running over. So a little peace of mind is good as we continue. So thanks for tuning in. Do all the things like comment, subscribe, what share, I, share. <laughs> anything else you'd like to add? That's it. No, we'll see him in the, we'll see, we'll see you probably in the next, next couple video. days. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. And we're out. Thank you.